good evening. My name is Annette Albright. I grew up in the small town of Mount Airy, North Carolina. North Carolina! Like my parents and my grandparents, I was a lifelong member of the Democrat Party. Don't worry, the story gets better from here. After completing a degree in criminal justice, I started a career working with the North Carolina Department of Corrections. I left my job in the criminal justice system to work for Charlotte Mecklenburg School District to engage our youth before they got stuck in the system. It didn't take long for me to realize that public schools are a part of the problem. Sadly, too many of our schools are more like prisons than places of learning. That must change. In one public high school, I witnessed a full-blown riot. I saw many violent altercations between students and physical attacks on staff. During my 14 years working with the Department of Public Safety, offenders never laid a hand on me. Yet, I was violently assaulted by a group of students in a public high school. The uptick in school violence was related to an Obama-Biden policy that directed schools to reduce suspension rates and keep dangerous students in the classroom. President Trump reversed the Obama policy and put the safety of our kids first. <laughs> Violence on public school campuses should not be a Democrat issue. It should not be a Republican issue. It is an American people issue. Sadly, I've repeatedly seen that the Democrat Party cares more about appeasing the teachers' union than they do about prioritizing the needs of our kids. They champion safe spaces instead of safe schools. This is completely wrong. Little by little, I begin to see the truth. While Democrats spend more money on a broken system, Republicans are empowering parents and fighting for school choice. While Democrats think school resource officers are a threat to our students, Republicans know that they protect our kids. While Democrats won't admit that our schools are failing, Republicans will fix the system and make our schools safe. That's why this year, for the first time in my life, I am registered as a Republican.
Thank you. Thank you. And in November, I will proudly cast my vote for Donald J. Trump. Only together we can make America's schools great again. Thank you and God bless America.